Not another dime! No more money for U.S. war crimes! Not another nickel! Not another dime! No more money for U.S. war crimes! Not another nickel! Not another dime! No more money for U.S. war crimes! Representatives, wouldn't it be nice if we didn't have to beg our representatives every single time we wanted them to take an anti-war stand? I've got some good news for you. We have. We've got a candidate running for Congress. His name is Albert Lee. Yeah. He is an anti-imperialist, socialist, immigrant, veteran, and he is going to speak to you tonight. I am appalled, and I see that you all are too. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Now, I gotta tell you, uh, I'm not surprised. Now, I've studied political science, international relations, international law, international human rights law, but looking at this crowd around me tonight, I realize that it's pretty obvious that this was absolutely illegal. This was murder. This was an assassination. This was a state-sponsored assassination by our government. We cannot stand for this. Now, I served in the United States Army. I served at Arlington National Cemetery, and I buried a lot of soldiers from just wars like World War II, and a lot of imperialist, unjust wars, like Vietnam. And I gotta tell you, like our speakers before us have already said, it's not those at the top that suffer from these wars. It's those that are on the bottom, that are black and brown, the poor, the working class, we're the ones that suffer from these wars. Here in this country, as well as around the world. Now, I come from a military family. My, my father served in the army as well. And that's one of the reasons why I exist, is because he was sent to Korea during the Cold War, during another part of our imperialist history. My, my wife, she served in the army, and she served in a combat support hospital in Mosul, Iraq, having to deal with all the injured soldiers that were there. Her father, before her, served in the army. And I can tell you that all of us would not stand for this. None of us would stand for this. So, first point, this was illegal, and we all know that. Second point, Congress has abdicated its role and its responsibility in authorizing war. And this, this has been going on for at least a couple of generations, kowtowing to an executive branch letting the executive branch tell us what is right and what is wrong. That's what the legislature is there for. It's for, uh, for the legislature to represent us, to tell us to tell this imperial executive branch. And we need to have congressional leaders with backbones that are going to actually do that. Now, the last point that I want to make is a very, very important point, And that is that War is not a solution. You know, they, they keep telling us that they need to do this preemptive war, that, that we need to go in there and get them before they get us. But war is never a solution, because if it was, then we, what about uh, Iraq? What about Afghanistan? We've been stuck in those two places for over 20 years. What about Vietnam? War is never a solution. No war on Iran. No war on Iran. We need to draw all of our troops back. We're in 76 different countries around the world for no goddamn reason. It's called the Defense Department. 
not the offense department. We need to rein that defense department back in. We need to use it as a defense and a deterrent, not as a offensive war machine. So I leave you with no war on Iran. 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 Yeah. Thank you, Albert.